talking to my boys about Parkinson's uh, has been, um, it's been a journey because at, at first, uh, Lily and I sat down with our oldest son, Sam, uh, and his wife, Liz, and we said, uh, we're, we're going to the Mayo Institute. They're thinking I might have Parkinson's. And Sam's immediate reaction was, no, 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 you're reading something you don't need to read. You don't have something like that. Um, and we said, well, we're not thinking this. This is what the doctors are thinking. Um, and I think it was just his desire to not have something like that upon us, especially because we were newly married. We were, uh, at that time, I think, three or four years into our marriage. Um, and so I think he just wanted the best for us. You know, he was very genuine. Uh, and our young son, Greg, um, talking with him about it, he was immediately accepting of it. Um, what was, I felt, very endearing uh, with him is we, uh, after I'd been diagnosed and had been on medications, we went to help him move to Norway to study abroad. And this is a kid who hikes and bikes and snowboards. I mean, very active. Both boys are extremely active, uh, have a beautiful sense of adventure. And we're walking around Oslo for a couple of hours, and I just tightened up my muscles. I was getting to an off moment with my medications, and my muscles were tightening up. And I said, I'm just going to go back, but why don't you and your mom keep walking around? He says, you know, I'm kind of tired too. And, and he came back because he didn't want me to miss something, I felt. Um, so now when we talk, like recently I had this conversation with him about how, with my younger son Greg, about how um, my brothers were reacting when I went home to help my dad move. Uh, and one of my brothers said, no, no, you stay. I can handle this myself and was moving stuff. And he did not know that I'm physically much better than I've been. And it kind of crushed me. And I mentioned that to Greg and Greg says, well, if you look back on it, the last time you wrote to your family, you were writing about the problems you had and how you were dealing with them, but you weren't writing the good stuff. And I said, yeah, my therapist that I'd been seeing was saying, you know, you should share with the family what's going on so they're not shocked when they see you. He said, yeah, but all you were doing was the bad stuff. So that was really nice in that he encouraged me on how to be a better communicator about Parkinson's. Um, so I, I think... I value their input, I value their feedback, and I, I value their um, encouragement and their love.